My name is Andy Vermouth, and I do communications and UX research for Remix, which many of you may know is one of the first tools a developer encounters on their journey into Web3 and the Ethereum ecosystem. Um, we are very strongly open source, and with at least 67 contributors to the code base to date, and so we're very uh, fortunate in that. And we're here today to officially launch a program we've designed and built in order to stay engaged with that growing open source community called Remix Rewards. Essentially, Remix Rewards is a collection of NFT badges that characterize our users and our contributors' support deployed as an upgradable contract on Optimism, where the upgradability allows each reward holder to mint an additional reward for any other user of their choice. Essentially, Remix Rewards is a... Oh, yeah, we've already done that. At the beginning of this year, we set out on our roadmap. One of the important goals was to consider who exactly are our users, or how do we know exactly what they're doing out there? The initial answer was obviously no. We, we didn't know at all. So we started by using some design thinking principles and tried coming up with the user persona, which we quickly realized was kind of a futile exercise. Uh, when we tried to match that method up with what we were hearing from users on our support channels, particularly Twitter. Those channels displayed a much wider array of different people in different countries with different workflows in Remix. So to connect more directly with them, we started doing monthly Ask Remix Anything calls and then started inviting our users to beta test new releases of Remix. We also began interviewing users willing to talk about their specific workflows and some of the use cases they were working on. We'd also started tracking analytics on the site, and then putting all of this together, we were getting the idea that our users were a much more diverse group than what we thought we had a handle on originally. We also realized lots of those users were excited about feature improvements, excited about developing new plugins for new networks, and we were now engaging with them in a more genuine dialogue about these issues. This year's roadmap also included dogfooding of the IDE by our team as a way to better understand user pain points, UI, and workflow issues. So following some success with the team at ETH Denver, developing an NFT song playlist and minting DAP for public radio, Jan, our team lead over there, started building this program rewards program, again, dog fooding remix, customizing an ERC-721 contract to allow minting of an additional NFT from a non-transferable NFT. We decided to make these uh, rewards non-transferable, both as a way to kind of have a soul-bound credential for community members and to identify each other as engaged members, but also as a way to kind of stay away from any kind of market in trading them for money, the NFT kind of craze. For the look and feel, we engaged the graphic artist who had designed our Remy Hedgehog logo over there on the left. She came up with these old-fashioned lo-fi framed uh, card designs you see here. They came to represent our kind of user archetypes. Uh, that uh, one on the right is a Dev Connector. That was our first NFT badge that came out at Dev Connect in April. So in simplest terms, this is all about our desire to create a more genuine two-way engagement among the team, contributors, champions, and users of Remix of all skill levels. So one of the big ways we're doing that is that this, this feature in the contract. The contract allows one additional Remixer badge to be minted to any wallet of a Remix rewards holder and then that additional minted remixer also becomes non-transferable. The remixer is never a noob. They is already, already spinning contracts. Our hope that this is a way to build more interest in new users to keep it leveling up their engagement by making contributions to the code base, or beta testing, or championing, or teaching the tool set to others. It's a club where everyone is invited and everyone is welcome.
The payload on each of these NFTs is tagged to a remix version of uh, beta tester that uh, has been tested or a specific PR that a contributor has authored and merged into the code base. So if in the future we can see a way to integrating these payloads with GitHub or LinkedIn or another third-party cert uh, platform, we are ready to do that. Here's the dApp that, that was built by one of our team members, Joseph Izang, for display of our rewards. Again, customizing for our own needs. We, we did consider using Quixotic, which is kind of becoming the open sea for optimism as an app for display and minting. But at least for now, our own build of this uh, dApp gives us that better idea of user engagement and uh, that, from that open source mindset. Here's the DAP for minting of Remixer badges. In this case, maybe you'd contributed five PRs over time and had beta tested 14 versions of Remix. You'd have the ability to mint a total of 19 additional Remixer badges. Mostly though, if this experiment has enough uptake from our community, we'll be ready to use these badges as another way to measure engagement and possibly allow kind of token-based proportional voting on improvements or major changes to the Remix tool set. Essentially, that's the story. We might as well say we're officially launching this program right now, so check it out if you get a chance. There's the URL up there. Uh, the DAP is also linked from our project website, and obviously we're looking for as much feedback and uh, engagement as possible on this. So hit any of us up after uh, here or on Twitter or Gitter or Discord. They're all up there. And lastly, as always, Hope everyone's having fun with whatever they're building out there. Thank you.